What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a really quick review of this four foot uh, sleigh and reindeer set. In this review I'll tell you everything you need to know about this thing including one thing you should know before buying. So my wife and I are currently putting up all the Christmas decor and as you can tell this was a piece that we had gotten. My wife absolutely loved it. I honestly wasn't really all that sure about it but I can say definitively that this is a pretty cool decoration. All right so talking to this a little bit. So there's a two-piece set so that is one piece that is the second piece. Um, it doesn't come all assembled. You basically have to attach the legs here, the legs here, the antlers here and kind of these pieces together etc so you do have to do some assembly but it honestly wasn't all that hard to do the assembly for this thing it was actually pretty darn easy probably took like 10-15 minutes it really wasn't that big of a deal uh, the lights inside are the led lights which is good for energy and efficiency you can't really see them that well but they are led lights which is definitely a good thing as well in total there are three different plugs that you have to plug in so there's one for the inside of this little uh, sleigh one for the outside of the sleigh, and then one for the actual reindeer. Now, one nice thing, really nice thing about this is that it is um, an all weather type of piece. So uh, it actually has rained here once since we've had this thing up. Hasn't had an impact whatsoever on it. Completely, uh, you know, fine, keeps working just as it should. And overall, this thing is pretty sturdy. We actually have some pretty high winds uh, where we live, but we've had no issues with it falling over or anything like that, which kind of brings me to the thing that you should know. So it does come with stakes uh, just like this, right? That little stake there, you can kind of see it, but it's almost like those little uh, tent stakes. And if you're putting it in, into like grass, I don't think you're going to have a problem whatsoever. Um, but as you can see here, we're putting it into rocks, basically. So we have to get creative and kind of tilt it and just kind of bury it with rocks on the edges to try to keep it down. Um, so that's the one thing to know. I would say the stakes, really not all that great uh, as, a, you know, like a, 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 something that comes with. The stakes themselves aren't super strong, so we actually did order a few others just to make sure on the really windy days that it doesn't tip over. But like I said, it hasn't tipped over yet, very sturdy. It's even a little bit on a slope here, as you can see, and it's doing just fine. So if you're considering getting this one, we definitely do like it, definitely recommend it, and don't think that you'll regret it.